Okay, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian and today we're going to continue on playing Red Dead Redemption. But before we continue, don't forget to hit the... <coughs> but before we continue, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really helps out my channel a lot and I would really appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to continue on. We just saved up and changed our outfit. Uh, so we're going to continue on with the Seth mission. Since that is the last mission that we did, try to do them in order. Just so we're not running around doing all kind of different missions for different people. We'll somewhat try to keep everything in order. Okay. Set. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and what? I realized. Realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. Oh. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. Oh. I don't like women, partner. I don't think the woman part is the problem of that story. Not since Mammy died. Oh. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? <sighs> I'm going to take him back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. Why can't you just look for the map here? I need it. Come on! Loitering with the pile of dead bodies ain't exactly the best idea. Can't wait to get my hands on these. Find some place quiet near Tumbleweed. I got a feeling the treasure's around there somewhere. Stay left! No need for the people of Armadillo to see my friends back here. So why couldn't we just search for the map Where are you? there? Don't, don't be shy. What did you say? And then go to Tumbleweed. Why do we have to bring to the them? bodies to so Tumbleweed? What if I, am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> They ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. Oh my, get them damn treasure under. The hell? Right now, I'm gonna look for the map back here. Try to shake those damn rings. Can't you go any faster? I'm trying. Can you be my friends? Uh, I lost the horse? Oh, a bottle of elixir. Thank you, my friend. What the hell happened to my other horse? All done with this one. Hey, this fella's a little right. Whoa! Got something on. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Oh, I got a horse back. I got the driving part. You just do you. Burial, 
Yeah? Somebody needs a new cologne. Go left up here. It's the lab! It's the map! I found the map! We gotta go faster, partner! Those good horses, damn it! Come on, let's get this wagon moving! Alright, we found it. Cool. I don't know why we couldn't just search for the map where we were and then just calmly take the map to Tumbleweed. I don't know why we had to do all this with the carrying the bodies in the wagon. Where's my map? Come on, whisper to me. Finally, months of searching. I'm gonna be rigged beyond my wildest dreams. Thanks, mister. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. We can't help him find the treasure? I'm not trying to be mean, but it might take him a while to find it. Isn't there like a cheat code or something in here? Yeah. I can't really see it. Yeah, I think it's like a cheat code or something. You can type in. But, I want achievements, so I'm not going to do the cheat code thing. So we can actually do the next Seth mission. I don't know if there's anything actually in these houses, or... Okay, well... I guess we'll just continue with the mission, since it's right here. Wait, don't I have my own treasure map or something? Yeah. I'm actually here. Okay. Let's go do this real quick. It's right up here, so it's not that far away. So I said, I kind of remember where things are, but it's been such a long time since I played this, I kind of forget. There we go. There it is. Okay. And the next one might be in a cave, even farther west. I think. I think it's in a cave. Maybe not. The cave where Nigel West Dickens is, maybe. I actually don't remember. Let me see. Nope. It's by a tree. Rio. Rio del Toro. Rio del Toro. There's a tree. Rio del Toro. That has to be. That has to be down here. Del Lobo. That has to be somewhere down here. Green Hollow. Rio del Lobo. I don't know where that's at right now. hell is Rio del Toro? I can't find Rio del Toro, so I don't know what that is. It would have to be over here, some river by Mexico. But, but it's not labeled. I honestly don't know. And I'm not too worried about it right now. I'll find it eventually. Oh, 
it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? <laughs> oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stint. Hey, Seth. Oh, oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. <laughs> okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Oh, we were going there anyway. Okay. I forgot about that. But I do remember now. Isn't there enemies? Oh, shit! It's an ambush! You heard them, fellas! Treasure's in the mansion! Did you see these fellas? Dubious as they look, I figure they must be with you! That's it, partner! Smoke them! I'm stuck. No, don't do that. Blow their damn brains out. I see you. I thought there was a gun in there or something that you could get. Ow. Shit. John, get up. Come on, please. I can't take them by myself. Shut up. That it? You gotta go now. It's our last chance. It's locked. Let's try around the back. Oh, we're going through the basement again. Well, all right. Please. Over here. here we go. Come on, Seth. Whoa! You can go to blazes. Poor shit. I don't know what happened to that body, but I don't want to know. Kill them all, mister. Anything over here? I guess not. Okay. Drop your guns and walk away. This can't be happening. Don't let him get my treasure, mister. Oh. Scum bucket. Oh, yeah? I can't. Really? Partner. I did all the work. Me. Yeah. Do something, sister. They're gonna take oh. my trap. Shut up. Come on. I'm stuck. Very long, long tunnel. <laughs> Seth, 
just going to be rich after all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> Damn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Those stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye! <laughs> it's a glass eye! <laughs> Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Why was there a glass eye, though? That doesn't make sense. Why? My apologies, mister. I don't remember if that comes into play later, why it was a glass eye. Shit, I don't remember. Open that damn door. Get stuck on everything. What's back here? Nothing. More nothing. Get me out of this maze, please. Okay. I really don't remember why it was a glass eye. I knew it wasn't a treasure, but I didn't remember what it actually was. Perfect. That's unfortunate. Let's go. Okay. So, we're... Really far. West Dickens is the closest thing. Uh, we don't have any more Seth missions. Guess I can collect some flowers for a challenge. Just need to keep finding these purple ones. Let's go. That is not what I need. What? Let's go, Come on. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that! What the f was that? You really wanna die, friend? Guess I ain't got much time for the law. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know- there was just people shooting, I thought they were bad guys. I wish the game explained. Like the minimap should have had like... Two stars saying that was a cop and the other guy was a criminal. It didn't explain anything though. Oh well. It'll be alright. It's actually kind of difficult in this game to keep your honor... Low. Unless you just go around just killing everything. Is there anything I can do here? I know I come here later for a mission or something, but can I do anything here now? Get out of the way. I could get a room. I guess we'll save up. Why not? I don't want to play poker because I'm not I'm not good at poker. I will play horseshoes. Never mind, the horseshoe guy left. Okay, cool. Because I forgot when you sleep at six hours. Okay. So we're not playing horseshoes. I lied. I guess we'll go do the Nigel West Dickens thing because that's the closest thing that we can do. 
I still don't know what flowers I'm supposed to be collecting for this old man. For some reason, it doesn't tell me. Oh, it does tell me. Wild Fever Few. Red Sage near Rio Bravo. Desert Sage. Desert Sage is what I've been collecting, right? Red Sage near Rio Bravo. Rio Bravo is by Fort Mercer, right? Yes. Okay, well, I'm not really close to that right now, so... I'll do that later. Do I have enough Wild Fever for you? I don't know how many I have. Like, how much do I need to make a bouquet? Please, I'm desperate or I wouldn't ask. Give me a ride. What? I didn't say yet. Are you getting on my horse? Sir? Actually, I got a better idea. You're oh. a dead man! That was a brilliant idea. If it ain't me, it's someone else. Alright. That was kind of stupid on his behalf. As if I was just going to let him take my horse and ride off. So is there a... Okay, I have eight Wild Fever Few. I have two Red Sage. Seven Desert Sage. So eight apiece should be enough to make a bouquet? Maybe? That should be enough. I probably only need like six apiece, but... And the other one is in Rio Bravo, so. Alright, let's do this Nigel West Dickens mission. Actually, let me see if I can do this thing without messing it up. I don't know what I did wrong last time. It said I assaulted a ranch hand or something, and it, the mission failed. Good luck to you, son. He's a wild one, and no mistake. So what am I supposed to do? Just get on the horse? Come here, you little shit. Easy. Easy. What the hell? Just stay there. Don't move. There we go. Be fine. Relax now. Nearly there. It's all right. So I'm just supposed to tame him. Pretty much. That's it. Relax now. Almost got you. Come. All right, then. That wasn't so hard. Mighty impressive, son. Good job. Oh. All right. Let's hurry up and do this mission before the time runs out. Hello there. Oh no! I didn't get to read the mission because it went by too fast, but I saw the picture. Oh, uh, Mr. Marston. Shit. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? <laughs> I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. 
feeding to the vultures myself. <laughs> you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Okay, sorry about that. Let's continue here. That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <coughs> and... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. <laughs> sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> But come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> Just gonna leave them bottles on the back of that wagon like that? Reach. Yeah, I'm skipping the destination. I'm not about to just sit there and watch that. Okay. So we have to do little single-seater wagon races. Um, they're not really difficult. They're just kind of annoying. Filler, Here we are, pretty much. Damn, I don't even get to do qualifying matches. They just put me in the back of the damn line. Shit. Okay. I guess I'm in the back. And you can't shoot people. I tried when I played this originally. So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always. All right now, count the three. Ready? Set, go. Get out of the way. This thing is hauling ass. Oh my god. Alright, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Good lord. Bring it down to third gear for these turns. Jesus! I'm losing control. It, they don't... They move really fast. They don't feel really sturdy, though. Like, it moves way quicker than it should when you turn. Oh my god! Did I go the wrong way? It doesn't matter. Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat. Why? Right. We best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody we won fair and square. They want their money back. Bye bye me. Wasn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels, the falling rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit. Alright, I'm gonna skip that. I don't wanna hear all that.
Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? All right. We have 42 minutes. Um... We have new weapons available at the gun store. I'm nowhere near a gun store. Unfortunately. There's another horse breaking job. I guess I could go to Rio Bravo and pick some flowers. Since I'm from somewhat close to that. There we go. I don't know if it's gonna tell me when I can go turn the flowers into that old man. I don't I don't know. I really don't know how I'm supposed to know. Go. It doesn't tell me how many flowers I need. Well shit. Um, I guess we're going to go to Armadillo, check out the gun store, see what they got, go to the hotel room, save up, and then we're going to, in the next part, we're going to do the Irish mission, uh, because that's what Nigel West Dickens told us to do, so that would be kind of like in order, mission-wise, because he told us to go see Irish, so... I don't know if I should sell all the gold now or wait until I have all of them and sell them together. I really don't know if it matters. Double barreled shotgun. I don't. It's only $75. What is this? Makes you lucky, increases the items and money you loot. A fine choice. Sure. American Standard Bread. Is that the Black Horse? Yeah. That's the best horse in the game, is the black horse. Improved campsite, sure. And I don't want nothing else. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that was pretty cool. In the next part, we're gonna go see what up, see what up, see what's up with Irish and what his upcoming mission is because I actually don't remember. I remember the introduction of him, but I don't remember what mission we have to go do with him. Um, so yeah, I'm in the part here. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. The link for that is in the description below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon, turn on post notifications to let you guys know every time I upload a video. I'll see you guys in the next one, and thanks for watching.